you start your day and you immediately think about water. How am I going to go to the bathroom? How am I going to wash my hands to remain sanitary? How am I going to brush my teeth? How, how am I going to shower? How am I going to eat or clean up from that? What am I going to drink? If I don't have clean drinking water, I have to plan everything. During Fiona, we were five days without water. So you have to get water, not only to drink, but to get a shower, to uh, flush the toilet, and start cooking, and cleaning the dish. With the water, our life turns upside down. I actually did an Engineers Without Borders project in some water of Zambia in the um, early 2010s. And this is an area where these people don't have drinking water. And the point of the project was to install water wells so that people could get water. And water consumes their everyday lives and their thoughts. They have to walk five to 10 kilometers one way every day to get jugs of water filled so they can do things in their house. And I think about their lives and how just one little thing, what we think is one little thing, water, to them is a world of difference. So you can't think it won't happen to you if you haven't been paying attention to your in this case, drinking water systems, it will happen to you and can happen to you. We need to invest, continuously invest in our infrastructure so we can continue having a good quality of life. And I think that's one of the things that Jackson has shown, the short-term and long-term cost of continually deferring maintenance and upgrades. Drinking water is one of these things we just take for granted and we can turn on every tap in our home, our business and outcomes clean, safe, reliable drinking water. The Clean Water Act was groundbreaking legislation that changed the way we in America view our, our water resources, our rivers, our lakes, our streams. It has really helped improve the, the quality of the, some of the rivers and streams and lakes in the U.S. When you think about what it was before 1972 when the act was what happened, those of us that were alive then can remember the fire on the Cahoga River in Cleveland, Ohio it was kind of the flashpoint that um, perhaps was just one of those things you point to and go, we've got to do something in this country uh, to protect our water resources. I think that if we are not careful and we don't invest in our infrastructure, that um, water is going to become a very big part of our everyday lives um, when it doesn't have to be. That's the importance of investing in our infrastructure to keep our drinking water supply running every day so citizens can actually live a normal life. We rely on all of our infrastructure but on water and wastewater for our economic prosperity and our quality of life. And without those things, economic prosperity and quality of life will greatly suffer.